Hey guys, Tomboy601, and today we have the Drake, what has turned into be my favorite of the new tier eights. Um, she's a British heavy cruiser, but before we dive into her, a bit of a channel update, a channel announcement, really. I've gone ahead and started a second channel. Uh, not related to World of Warships at all. We're calling it Tommy Boy Reviews uh, because I buy a lot of shit and uh, I'd like to be able to review it. So uh, if you want to see, uh, follow my personal shopping habits and more more interestingly, just see um, kind of tech reviews and things like that, uh, I would appreciate it a ton if you could go over and uh, hit the subscribe button. If I can get a thousand subscribers over there, I can instantly monetize and that would be incredibly, incredibly exciting. So uh, if you could do that, that would be super awesome. But now let's go ahead and talk about the Drake, uh, the tier eight heavy cruiser for the British. Uh, the thing that sets her apart from uh, the rest of her line is she gets quarter HE pen. You may be like, Tommy, what does that mean? Well, uh, Drake has 234 millimeter guns. And if you multiply that by 0.25, that means you're going to get 58 millimeters of pen with the HE, which lets you do things like just chunk battleships like that. Y yeah, it's great. Uh, pretty good fire chance as well with our build. 29% will go ahead and put the commander up on the screen. We have good old Bruce Frazier. Uh, there is some, <laughs> some very big potential. Now, it does come with a couple of downsides. One, unlike Albemarle, uh, no radar. So you're kind of a, a bit back compared to the rest of everything else, as far as like cruisers go from the line, but the uh, the guns can't make up for it. So uh, we're out here. We've gone off to the left-hand side. Harbin has poked his nose around the corner. We're gonna go ahead, flip over to the AP because guess what? The AP slaps as well. And we're gonna continue pushing, try to beat this uh, Zeton off the line. Um, we know Harbin will be able to maintain spot through the smoke because the smoke fire penalty. But if we can bait him into kind of pushing in, um, we have our sonar active because we know he's going to launch torpedoes at us. But if we can bait him into firing, uh, we know his smoke fire penalty is not that great. So we can go ahead and, well, just dump truck him right there for the majority of his health right off the bat and kind of take cover within this island complex as that Zeton begins to come around the corner. I was a bit concerned on the Zeton. But now we have our battleship kind of arriving on scene. So I can go ahead and flip over and get those other torpedoes ready to go and to begin helping this battleship with the Zeton. Um, you know, we won't be able to stand up to it toe to toe, but we should be able to do some pretty decent damage to it overall. And if we're lucky, get a couple, get a, get a, get a capture point in there. So uh, we're going to start turning around as we kind of see what the Zeton's up to. He, he seems like he's sticking on to the... Uh, the nose in path uh, and we will go ahead and just get these torpedoes ready in case he wants to continue on this path uh, though he does kind of start making it clear he's going to go ahead and turn out which is fine by us which means we can go ahead and continue to engage him with the big old uh with the big old guns uh, also as this is all occurring we do have a carrier attacking us now uh drake has some pretty good aa five kilometer range uh but it gets up to about 300 and change as far as DPS when you're being dropped, which is uh, pretty high up there. The British cruisers tend to have some pretty good, uh, pretty good anti-aircraft fire, and Drake maintains that ability. We flipped over the AP just because we want to kind of see what we can do. We get a good chunk out of Zeton here as he is being very easily whittled down. Um, you can also see that uh, we're starting to get whittled down by Zeton secondaries as one of the features of of drake uh as you can see there's a large green bar forming where our health used to be um drake does get the super heals of the line um as this neptune begins to draw our curiosity because uh he is very much out of position but uh we're going to be able to recover a vast majority of, of our health as these boats do maintain that super heal and that allows us just to keep healing a lot of it back as we nearly dev strike the Neptune there with four pens. Um, we're still working on and trying to get that, uh, trying to trying to get the cap worked on. Um, we have a uh, Zerlane Chapayev has kind of taken interest in us as we take out the Neptune. 
We're going to try to push in towards the island. Uh, we are being, our spot is being maintained by that plane, but now that we've kind of dropped off that spot, Shokaku um, starting to get the interest of our battleship. Um, we are going to start to try to push in as far left as we can so that uh, we're not spotted by um, this Richelieu and the Azurlane Chapayev that we know are kind of in mid right here. And we're kind of, as we get spotted by um, the Azurlane Chapayev right there, um, and just trying to get this cap kind of in the bank. As far as the team goes, we're doing fairly well. Our right-hand flank has uh, pushed in fairly well. Myself and our battleship have kind of defeated the push off to the left-hand side. Um, it's just this middle contingent that has sort of penetrated the lines, uh, as as you would say. Um, and we're just kind of prepping here. Chapayev now on our radar. We're going to we're gonna try to turn in. Of course, we do have to be pretty cautious of Chapayev as uh, his, his HE shells can pen um, our superstructure. And I believe our nose armor because uh, we have a 25 millimeter nose. We're, we're debating, do we push in here just because, well, he does also have torpedoes. They're very short range torpedoes, but it's kind of one of those mutual, guaranteed mutual destructions sort of thing. If if we maintain this push, we're gonna go ahead and use, try to use this time, set Richelieu on fire. And once again, get into this little corner here. See if we can spot, um, we can spot Chapaya via proxy spot and just try to avoid um, some shells while we get these torpedoes off. We're going to fire two in the hopes that Chapayev thinks he like just didn't spot the wide two. And if he wants to see if he wants to try to get him to bait him to kind of push in on us. Um, Cause if he thinks that, you know, our racks are now empty, it could be, could be something we keep the, the HE loaded. We're going to go ahead, fire just into the nose. We have a decent hit right there. We're still not, he's still not pushing in far enough as a uh, Richelieu goes ahead and hits us. We're going to dump one more torp towards Chapayev as we get a nasty strike as we're starting to give up a little bit too much broadside. Continue to use those big guns. You can see we are chunking him for each time. We're going to go ahead and use our last heal that's going to uh, give us the last bit of health that we will have available to us. Um, he's kind of keeping AP loaded. Um, I think at this moment he's realizing uh, now that we are angling correctly, he's not going to be doing much with the AP. So he goes ahead for the torpedo launch. We're going to go ahead, swing the swing, swing the rudder full left and try to reverse out of the way of these torpedoes. He goes ahead and goes down. Fortunately, we don't get the kill on that one. And we are just going to narrowly dodge these torpedoes. Of course, British ships, they don't have ability. Uh, they don't have availability for prop mod. Um, and you kind of wish they do sometimes because uh, it can really, really be useful to have it. Uh, we go ahead are safe from Richelieu on that salvo right there. Gets a good hit on us here, and he is, of course, the last ship actually up. Um, our team did a very good job of kind of clearing out on the other side, um, and that's all Richelieu will wrote, and that's going to be the match in the Drake. Pretty fun match. Um, I think it shows off a couple of things that Drake can do well. That HE slaps, the AP can slap. You have to kind of put yourself in a correct position, but it can be a pretty fun ship. Anyways, guys, if you liked the video, go ahead and hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and uh, if you could please head over to the other channel, links for that will be in the description down below. Guys, I hope you have a great rest of your day. See ya.